In this video, we will show you how to set up Apogee One and GarageBand on Mac and begin recording. To follow this tutorial, you will need one for Mac and iPad. Mac OS 10.9 or greater and GarageBand 10.02 or greater. Open GarageBand. Select Empty Project. For the purpose of this tutorial, choose Microphone under Audio. Click on Details. You should see My Instrument is connected with 1. If not, click on the arrow and under Audio MIDI, select 1 for both Output and Input Device. Close the Preferences window. Under Input, choose the 1 input that you want to use. Input 1 is 1's mic input, either external or internal mic. And input 2 is always 1's quarter inch instrument input. Since we chose microphone in GarageBand, choose input 1. Now check I want to hear my instrument as I play and record. Select Create. You should now see GarageBand open with a single track. 1 by default should be set to internal microphone. If not, open the Apogee Maestro software. Make sure you're on the input page. And on the first channel, you can select between internal mic to use one's built-in microphone, external mic if you are connecting a dynamic or ribbon mic, external mic 48V if you are connecting a condenser microphone. For the purpose of this tutorial, choose internal mic. In GarageBand, make sure input monitoring is set to on. Sing or speak into one's internal microphone and adjust the gain until you see level. Now connect your headphones or powered speaker to one stereo output jack. Push down on the knob until you select output on one. Now you can adjust the output volume. You should now hear your voice. If it's too hot or too low, you may need to adjust it by selecting the internal mic and adjusting up or down. You are now ready to record. Now if you want to record an electric guitar, bass, or any instrument with a pickup in it, create a new track in GarageBand by clicking on the plus button. Choose Record Guitar or Bass using GarageBand as an amp. Change the input setting to Input 2. Check I want to hear my instrument as I play and record. Click on Create. Connect your instrument to one's quarter inch instrument input. Select the guitar icon on one and adjust the level. There are many amps and effects to choose from in GarageBand. To change the settings on any of the amps or effects, click on Smart Controls. Here you get basic control of the amp. For more in-depth control, click on the amp icon in the right corner. Here you have many options of mixing and matching amps and speaker cabinets. Click on the pedal icon to choose between and control all the effect pedals. You are now ready to record.